up you guys it's rachel welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel today i am taking you guys along for the ride and we are going to the tanning salon today if i haven't met you before hi my name is rachel i like to make videos about spirituality health and well-being as always i so appreciate all your love and support i would so appreciate it if you would head and give this video a like and go ahead and subscribe for more content join the fam if you haven't already and today, since you guys enjoyed my last video about tanning so much, I'll go ahead and put it right here in case you haven't seen it. It's my review on the fox tan. I enjoy sharing all sides of myself with you guys, so I thought that I would take you guys along with me today and we go get some tan on. So I actually did used to work at the tanning salon and I did used to tan a lot more before um, COVID hit. And so I kind of took a back seat and I didn't go to the tanning salon for a long time. Um, but I decided recently to go ahead and renew my membership for a, a give myself a month just to um, help with the sads a little bit, you know, and uh, give my body some dopamine and some nice vitamin D. And I know you're thinking, Rachel, you're so into health and to wellness and well-being then why are you tanning like aren't you worried about skin cancer right and to that i answer there is a lot that, of misconceptions people have about tanning beds and about going to the tanning salon today i like to take the opportunity to talk a little bit about how tanning can actually um, be beneficial for your health in many ways depending on how you use it so i'd like to take this opportunity just to to speak on that with you guys and maybe you'll find something from this video helpful as always consult with your medical professional before um to see what's right for you so if you'd like to skip to the tanning part of the video i'll go ahead and leave the timestamp right here so you can go ahead and pop over and skip to that but so i'd like to talk a little bit about how tanning has affected me and how it has changed my life for the better so tanning specifically for mental health tanning is amazing not only does it give me a little place to go and to pamper myself, but it actually increases your levels of vitamin D so incredibly much. Uh, and in the winter and the fall months, it is so important. If you can get vitamin D from a source that is more natural, um, such as light, even if it is artificial, um, you're still getting it from that U those UV rays. Your body tends to absorb it better in that way. So that's a big added bonus. Personally, when I used to work at the tanning salon, uh, I used to hear all the time about people saying, oh, I decided to start tanning because um, I have depression and my therapist recommended it. Or I just, there was one lady I remember who had just lost her husband and she was recommended to go get a tanning membership, I think by her mental health professional, to just go and to treat herself and it gives you a place it gives you an outlet to just relax and to meditate and um, it really helps boost your mood getting those rays in especially if you live in a climate where it tends to get like just incredibly cloudy and rainy in the winter time which i live in washington so hello oh my gosh okay i'm not all the way over with edward and bella and forks but i'm still i'm in the sound but it does tend to get really cloudy and rainy here another thing that i have found about tanning that is beneficial for you and some misconceptions that i would like to speak about is um oh tanning in a tanning bed is worse for you than tanning outside and to that i answer usually the answer is no and that is in my experience and i am saying this based off of a couple of conditions moderation being one using a tanning bed in moderation and the other one being uh, knowing your limits in a tanning bed and not burning yourself. And, and the reason why I say that tanning in a tanning bed can be better for you than actually tanning outside is because, um, let's say, for example, you're going on a vacation, right? Um, you're going to, hey, let's say Mexico, since I'm so familiar with Mexico. You're going to Mexico, right? You're going to Cancun. You're ready to get your tan on. You're so excited for your beach vacay, right? There are two different types of UV rays from the sun. There was UVA and there was UVB. 
So UVB rays are what's actually associated with your skin burning and UVA is what's associated with getting the deep skin color or deep yeah getting <laughs> getting color deep within your skin so underneath the superficial layers of skin and actually getting that dark deep nice chocolate -y tan right so um, UVB tends to be a lot worse for you than UVA um, and so the Sun typically has around four to five sometimes six percent UVB which is bad burning rays in uh, just naturally occurring right so if you burn whether it be in a tanning bed or whether it be outside on vacation that is what increases your risk of skin cancer um, the most however say that you already have a base that you've built in a tanning bed successively over sessions like you've consulted with the, the person in the tanning salon and you say hey I'm going on vacation here help me figure out how to build a base so that way I don't burn and when I want to tan on my vacation in wherever you're going right um, another reason even if you're just using a tanning bed as it is it's shorter amount of time even if you're just using a tanning bed just for your own personal well-being and happiness and even looks the sh amount of time that you spend exposed to the UVB and UVA rays is incredibly lower than the amount of time that you would go lay out in the Sun for like you know an hour two hours whatever to get the same amount of color you tend to get rapid color when you're in the tanning bed so it's a lot less time that you're spending exposed to those rays which is really good for you um, if it's something that you're interested in anyways so uh, and as far as different tanning beds that they have at different salons I know they vary in amount of burning rays UVB so as I said the Sun typically has around four to five percent UVB which is bad burning rays and tanning beds can have as low as like one to two percent have some of them have one to two percent UVB burning rays um, so sometimes it takes you to build a base tan. It does take a little bit more UVB like a bed with more UVB um, So that way you get the top layer of your skin then you can um, Soak in the UVA which are the rays that are better for you deeper in your skin So I mean you can go to a tanning salon and you can sit in a bed for 15 minutes um, 10 minutes 12 minutes however eight minutes so uh, you a good starting time to start on a tanning bed depending consult with your tanning professional this is not a personal recommendation to you but I think when I first started I did around like six or seven minutes um, and worked my way up and, and I have a lot of family that is just able to tan very easily I hope that you enjoyed these little tidbits about um, tanning in the tanning bed and how it is different for you than um, going and tanning outside and how it can benefit you in different ways and as I say everything in moderation right so I'm super grateful to have this place to come to in this time with everything going on um because it just helps me focus on myself and treat myself like a high value woman <laughs> so i hope that you guys enjoy coming along for the ride with me and without further ado let's get on to the tanning masks on
Hey there, my friends. So I am back and I had a wonderful experience. It just really brings you back to yourself to just take about 15 minutes or so to just soak in those rays and relax and meditate. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments what you would like to see from me next or what you enjoyed. And until next time, peace. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see you next time.